Welcome back to Sip the Tyler Fans with me, host Coach Evans. And today's video is going to focus on, and you see the thumbnail, why the run game sucked Sunday. Um, we got the win, but we want to take a look at the nuances of what happened because I've never seen a Lamar started, started game but we didn't run the ball well. And we didn't run the ball well Saturday. Could have been the elements, could have been the fact that guys didn't play together for the first time. But let's dive into why we didn't run the ball well Sunday, as the topic says, why the run game up. So welcome back to the channel, and uh, again, we're here for Why the Run Game Sucks. But before we get started, if this is your first time here, please hit the like button if you like what you saw. At the end, if you want to see more of this content, subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when these random videos drop. I want to salute these people here, my patrons, uh, Raxon, Brent, Chris, Miss Too Much, uh, Mo, Alec, Jason, Jesse, Brandon, Arrow, Jared, and Olive Branch. Uh, we also have members on the channel. I want to salute those guys also. I'm working on a, a piece where you can see the members and on the channel and so i'm working on that but that's coming so the guys that are members now i appreciate you guys do that uh that's a join button down there somewhere if you want to you know join the channel and be a member please do so but let's get into the film because that's why we're here all right so we're gonna look at the box and the count and all that first and then we're gonna try to piece together why we didn't do what we needed to to do Got what we needed out of this play. And I didn't think we ran counter bash, but uh, like we did this one time, like the first play. And it's, it's strange you got Linda Bomb pulling instead of Powers. Linda Bomb Linda is probably the better puller out of Powers and and um, Cleveland. So instead of Linda Bomb having to block all the way back to this three technique, might as well get Powers to do it and go from there. Now, if there had been a one, Maybe Linda Bum does block back and these two guys pull, but the fact that there's a three, it just makes more sense. But this guy to pull. For him to pull and kick out, for um, James to pull and wrap. That's your kick out block. James should fit it up in there. But he doesn't. He goes outside. Well, that's a good read because that guy's kind of winning inside anyway. But again, this is the guy James should be blocking. That's the guy game should be blocking because Linda Bone was a kick out. I don't like that lick, but hey. This play here, we got what? What's the personnel? We got tight end. We got three, basically three tight ends. We counting Ricard as a tight end. And we got Kenyon Drake back there. What's the play? Now we got a, a, a what's this? A four, five surface side. So we got the numbers over here. Look at the numbers. They only got they got four guys here with this guy potentially in the box. Ah, okay. So we got powers pulling into nothing. Watch powers right here. Pulling into nothing. Maybe just trying to be one back power, maybe. It just there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Get the double right here, trying to double up to this guy. No, he's going backside. Zagler's going backside. So you're getting a double here. Then Zagler's trying to go all the way backside. Uh, let's see what these end guys do. Oliver and Ricard double. Should be to that dude. Should be to that dude. Power should be pulling to this guy. That's all it was. Powers didn't get where he needed to be. It's that simple. So we had, we had what we needed. If Powers gets here to him, he's blocked. He's blocked. We got a good play. Got a good play. This toss is something different. Something I haven't seen before. Tossing to the weak side. Well, actually, we got an extra. It's even. Because we got... Even though he's not in the tight end spot, he's still a tight end. So we it's an even front. You got three on three surf three on this side, three on this side. So I originally thought it was weak, but it's not weak because Mark right there. Mark probably just gonna crash down on that cat. Yep. 
Walk crashing down, pin and pull. That's all we're doing, pin and pulling. Pinning him down, pulling the tackle to try to get up on him with, with Macari. I'm sorry, not Macari. With Ricard, Lee blocking. That's the premise. Kick him out, feed it in there, and then Kendrick reads it. Missed the kick out. Well, I don't know. Come on, man. You got to fit that. Realize that's going on and fit that, Ricard. He realized it too late. If Ricard goes to let 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 this take care of itself. That's not an issue. Let that take care of itself. You pull right up in there to that guy. Drake going to follow right behind you. And then I ain't going to say he out the gate. But it's a lot better than this. It's a lot better than that. Mark got to be better too on that. Mark got to be better than on that too. Got three tight ends again, basically. And put Ricard at fullback. So now we got two tights and a fullback. 22 personnel. A little dive option. Now. First of all, we all know this is the read guy. So if he if he crashes down, Lamar's going to keep it and get out there. If he kind of slow plays it or kind of comes up field, Lamar's supposed to give it to Davis and let him do what he do. Let's see what happens. He stays square, so you got to give it. With him staying square, you got to give it. Ah, see this. This is the point on like, this double needs to go from there, either to there, or there to there. Not to this this cat out here. Not to this safety. If I'm not mistaken, he gonna end up chasing the safety. See, especially with with this cat. Trying to play Lamar, scrape exchanging, that's what you're trying to do. So scrape exchanges, most of you already know this. If they do scrape exchange, he should come down hard. He should get over top every time. But the fact that Ricard's add to this, it kind of throws it off. So with Ricard coming out there, he got to play it, and he still got to play Mike Davis. So I like the nuance that Greg got on this because you can't just do traditional scrape exchange. But now, we got a double team to that. And not not to this safety guy. We want our running back one-on-one with the safety. So we got a double team to, to this guy, which is C.J. Mosley. If you do that, if, if if James takes that, Davis got a chance versus this cat. You know, Mosley going to kind of tackle him up because Mosley pretty decent player. So we just got to block the right, you know, block the right people. And again, these them cats hadn't played together. You know, in the preseason, it was a, a – a mixing, matching of a bunch of different things. Tyree played a bunch in the preseason, and he's no longer on the team. So it, it, it took a minute. Oh, it's going to take a minute for them to jail. Let's see what we got here. We got um, two tight ends. Lick counter. Look like a lick counter action. Yeah, that's counter with, with Zyler. Zyler is the kick out. Mark with the mark with the wrap. So Zeitler should be coming out to kick out this dude. Uh, Mark should be coming to try to wrap to this linebacker. Lightly should be arcing up the joiner. Should be. Kick out. It's good. Mark should be fitting up in there. Ooh, Jawan James is mauling CJ Mosley. Watch watch that right there. Ah, uh, nah. Uh, I was fooled. Got to bite the shoulder pad. Got to, his his head needs to be right there on that shoulder pad so he can't go underneath or over the top. It should be a stalemate right there. He gets a good lick on him, but he in a bad spot. He on the wrong shoulder pad. He should be on that top shoulder. That kills it right there. That's James again. He on the wrong. He should be on this this fifty seven, and but when they meet, he on this fifty seven. That's the problem right there. He biting the wrong shoulder pad. And look, look at C J Mosley wait in the hole where where the hole would have been. All right, so on this play, we got we got power in an an unconventional way. Got power in an unconventional way. So let me let me show you. As you can see, it didn't didn't work much. I don't power. Ricard's coming in motion. It should be to kick out this dude. Should be to kick out this dude. 
they're all going to go down. So we, we're getting power with no pulling. They all going to block down, and we'll see, you know, what the double teams and, and hitting up. But Ricard should kick this guy out. Mark should be rapping to that dude. Drake should step in, let all that happen, and then hit it downhill. You got you got your down blocks left. Got your down blocks. He should be going there. He shouldn't even be looking at this kid. He should be going there. Because the car's gonna kick that out. Mark's going to block him. See, we look at it. We got two people going to the same dude. Assignments. He should be going there. Moses should be going here. Andrew should be blocking this dude. Ricard is, should have kicked him out, but he's logging him. And if Drake can see that, he can bounce off that. But the fact that these two guys going there and he's getting beat inside, it's a problem. So we lost the blocker by two people blocking the same dude. Andrews and Moses blocking this dude. Nobody's blocking him. We lost the blocker and he's there to fit. Look at that. That's the guy that makes the tackle for the most part. And Drake gets a few extra yards out of it, but blown assignments. And this is a decent run by Justice Hill. This little draw. But it's, it's, it's because of his cut, not because of anything the line did. Watch this cut. Who is this getting kind of blew up a little bit? That's um, Powers. No, nah, he ain't getting blown up. Just let him cross his face. Maybe Tyler should have stayed. But I, Tyler knows it's a draw, so he's trying to get up to the next level. That's just a hell of a cut by Justice Hill. Hell of a cut. That cut got him the yard that he needed. Look at Proche and get in the mix. I know my boy ain't getting no targets or play well, but look at Proche getting in the mix. Look at Proche getting in the mix. The thing is, with Proche's block, if he could have kept him out here, Proche would have sprung him for a nicely run if he could have finished it. If that other cat wasn't coming from the backside. Let's right, take a look at this one. Personnel wise, we two tights. Uh, with 22 again, we under center, which is, you know, different. Look like traditional ISO right here. Look like ISO to me. Let me let it play through, though. All right. Let's, I'm, I'm going to assume this is ISO. And I'm going to try to draw it up before the play. So if this is ISO, we're going there. It should be a double to that guy. That's what it should be, a double to that guy. He should take care of him, and he should try to, probably try to get inside and keep one of these guys out. But I, we're trying to isolate this cat with the fullback. So if you get your double there up to this linebacker, the card should hit it on this cat, and then Drake should have you know, his pickings of what hole to take. Let's see why it didn't happen like that. Got your double right there. You got your double on both sides. So one of them probably need to come off there. So you, you got the double, not the double, the, the second level blocks potentially happening. They just happening at the line of scrimmage. They just they just hit it hard. Look how both of them coming down. They just hit it hard. They, there's nowhere for them to go. So, you know, nothing, I don't think anything's wrong with the blocking. They just came down here hard and just played it. They triggered. Now, the thing with this is whoever's in the box, which is Roman, should have another look off of this play. Because if these cats are going to trigger this hard, somebody be running running that. Or, you know, or vertical in there or something like that. Because if they're going to trigger this hard, they're going to avoid a lot of space right here. But this one of your, your filler out plays. You see that happening, you you start calling stuff to to not let them be so heavy into the run. Play here, I'll, it's not a, not a design run, it's actually a pass. But the way, how this dude get out of this, this this dude's Houdini, man. I I first thought it was a sack. Then I thought he was just going to get out of bounds on the board to sack. This cat got the first down. Let, let's see how many Jets missed him on this. Let's see how many Jets missed him. All right. So they, they they pick up the little stunt. 
But we get beat by the, the tackle, we get beat. But again, they still working. Still working. They're keeping him off QB. I like that by Linda Bum. Dude tried to jump. He got up in his chest. I love that. This guy, that's one miss. That's two misses. Man, dude didn't even touch him. Look at that. Miss. 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 <laughs> Man, look at this. Look, I'm glad I got slow motion. This is amazing. This dude is crazy athletic. Swipe, miss. Swipe again, miss. Swipe again, miss. That's all QB, man. <laughs> That's all QB. And there are multiple plays that Got stuffed at the line for various reasons, but I do want to end this on a positive note. And but yeah, this this is one of the plays that got stuffed, but I want to end it on a positive note. This is my positive note. As much as I don't want to see this a lot, it still freaking works. <laughs> as much as I don't want to see that, it still works. You get chunk yardage out of it, especially when they chase the running back. But he's been giving it. He's been giving the ball off all game, all game, all game. Not really running. And so now I get to the point where this dude, they ain't checking for him. They're going to get the quarterback. I mean, they're going to get the running back. It's, it's crazy. Because he hadn't really ran the ball that much. He crashed down. Because if you watched originally the, the play earlier, his shoulders were this way. And so Lamar gave it to Mike Davis, and that's when Mike Davis kind of ran into this pack. Well, look at this guy's shoulders. They're this way. That's a that's a, the indicator of the pull it. Because he can't flip his hips or his shoulders that fast and catch them off. See, he went full in on the tackle. And look at his face Lamar got. Dog, Andrews got to block that. Which he does. Now, where did this cat come from? Let's see where 56 come from. Then we're going to get out of here. With them shifting. Got that down block. Got that double. McCarr, McCarr stayed on double too long. That's all. Still a good play, though. I just want to see where 56 came from. McCarr stayed on double too long. But again, the run game did suck, but it got better toward the end of the game. So those guys, hold on, let me get me up here while I'm talking. The run game did suck. But I think it got better as the game went along. And, you know, our like the last play we just showed, we still got that in our back pocket if need be. But I don't want to see that a lot. I want to give the ball to the running backs, give the ball to the running backs, give the ball to the running backs. And then when you need that, like we just saw later on in the game, you got that option because they're starting to chase the running backs and not staying on the ball. But, again, give those guys a chance to jail up front. Uh, unfortunately, what happened to to James McCarry looks like he's the guy until Stanley's ready. So um, Stanley, Powers, uh, Linderbaum, Zeitler, and Moses. Uh, yeah, man, y'all get that thing together and let's go out and beat the Dolphins, man. But again, I appreciate you guys for being here. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I'm um, Coach Evan with Simply Tally Fans. And again, like, comment, share, uh, join the Patreon, join the, the members channel. I uh, appreciate you guys, and I'll see y'all soon with another banger, man. Peace.